What's wrong with it? That's what we're trying to find out. Something very strange has happened in the township of Midwich. Everybody, including the animals, have fallen asleep. No reason why. And then, as quickly as it started, the town is awake and very bewildered. Given that everybody fell asleep at the same time, could it have been an airborne anomaly? No one can find an answer. But what makes for another peculiarity, several weeks after the event, several women are suddenly pregnant and the conception can be traced back to that very day where they were comatose. But given the time, the mutterings of premarital and extramarital affairs threaten to rip many relationships apart. Suspicious or auspicious, the children are born but they are growing at a shocking rate. Their intelligence, their mental faculties, their very appearance, they walk and speak like their elders, but they're devoid of general emotion. Is this the next step in our evolution, though generations early? Reports worldwide reveal that Midwich is not the only place where this phenomenon has occurred. John Wyndham's story was certainly an eye-opener. With Hammer being very successful at that particular moment, this was made separate from that company. This version was co-adapted by Sterling Siliphant, who would have future success with In the Heat of the Night, The Poseidon Adventure, The Tower in Inferno, and even executive produced Salem's Lot. In 1994, John Carpenter released his remake. The casting choices make this an interesting watch. Christopher Reeve, Mark Hamill, Kirstie Alley, Linda Kowalski, and a young Thomas Decker, who plays David, one of the children. This, unfortunately, was Reeve's last big screen outing before his accident. It's enjoyed three radio adaptations. This year, it returned as a seven-part show for Sky, and from what I've read, it was a mixed bag with critics. John Wyndham did try writing a sequel, but it was abandoned. We're drawn to children in horror, whether they have powers or not, Damien Thorne being one of the most remembered. Stephen King is an authority in such, with Carrie, Children of the Corn, The Shining, Salem's Lot. Village of a Dam was like a starting platform for what would become a legendary part of 20th century horror. What are you going to do with that power? Father, we know what you're trying to find out. It'd be better if you didn't ask these questions. We want to learn from you. All right, that'll be all for today.